just got into nursing school but have no idea what stethoscope to buy, stick around because I'll show you all the different types. Hi all you nursing students, my name is Nurse Jenny. I wanted to start off this video by differentiating between a standard stethoscope and a cardiology stethoscope. A standard stethoscope, or regular or a classic stethoscope, has got a Y frame like this. Inside the tubing, when sound travels from the chest piece up into the binaurals, there is one channel. One channel where sound travels and then breaks off into both of your ears. That's the single lumen tubing. A cardiology stethoscope, it has got what we call a A-frame. It's like an upside down A. It has got dual lumen tubing. And that means that when sound travels from the chest piece up here, we've got two channels inside the tube. One channel goes to my right ear and one channel goes to my left. And what this does, it, it allows for better sound transmission and less interference from extraneous noise or brushing up on the tubing. It does make for better acoustics, but it also makes the stethoscope quite cumbersome and heavy around your neck. And it also is a lot more expensive than your regular stethoscope. If your passion is cardiology and you know in your heart of hearts that you are only gonna work in cardiology when you finish nursing school, by all means, buy a cardiology stethoscope and learn on that if you have the money to do so. However, in my opinion, if you're a nursing student, you're starting out and learning, you will be just fine with a regular standard stethoscope. I've done detailed reviews on all of these stethoscopes, so if you wanna know a little bit more about them, I'll put a link here and you can have a look yourself. So I know I've told you, you don't need to go and buy the most expensive stethoscope out there, but that doesn't mean you can go and buy a really cheap one which will affect the quality of your stethoscope. You want good quality, so my advice is to buy from reputable sellers, you know, brands that you know, and have a look at the reviews and see what they say, and then you can make your decision. All the stethoscopes that I'm using in this video and showing you, I will put links down below so that you can click on them and have a look at the reviews and read them yourself. So let's talk about the features of a standard stethoscope and why it makes it a good all-rounder stethoscope for nursing students. A lot of the regular stethoscopes have a turnable chest piece so you can decide which side is going to be activated and only one side is on at at one time. You've got your adult diaphragm here that you use for adults and you have your pediatric side that you use for pediatrics. Now this side can also turn into an open bell on some stethoscopes. Comes with a rim so you take off that diaphragm and put that rim on. Makes it an open bell. An open bell is good for detecting lower pitch sounds such as heart murmurs and some bowel sounds. This makes this stethoscope a great all-rounder because you can use it for pediatrics and adults. So if you're in your nursing school you're going to do a new grad program, you can use this stethoscope in pediatric and adults. That makes it one stethoscope, you don't have to buy two. Please make note though that some standard stethoscopes come with an open bell, but it doesn't have the option to turn it into a pediatric side, so it doesn't come with a pediatric diaphragm. Just something to have a look at if you really want a good all-rounder stethoscope that can carry you all throughout nursing school. Some other things to consider when buying a stethoscope is the weight of the stethoscope. I like my stethoscope to be light because I wear it around my neck all day. I also consider the length of the tubing because I don't want to strain my back when using it. Another thing is one of my pet hates is sticky tubing. So when you wear it around your neck, it gets caught in your neck hairs and your neck. So I like tubing that is smooth and just glides over your neck and you can't tell that it's even sitting there. Another important thing is your ear tips. Consider, don't buy the hard ear tips. They hurt your ears and they don't create a good seal. Buy the soft ones, and even better, if the stethoscope comes with different sized ear tips, that's great because you can then choose what suits your ear canals best and create that good seal. Also guys, I've done a lot of stethoscope versus stethoscope videos. So if you want to compare, click the link here. These are a few stethoscopes that I've reviewed in the past that I wanted to show you. This is the Björn Hall Stockholm series stethoscope. Disclaimer, I've actually created this stethoscope myself, so it's got all the specifications that I like, and it's a perfect all-rounder in my opinion. Then we've got the MDF 777. This is their standard stethoscope. They've also got a cardiology stethoscope in their range as well. Then we've got the Welch Allen Adult Professional. This is their standard stethoscope. Be mindful. This one comes with hard ear tips, so something that you should research before you buy. 
They also have a cardiology stethoscope. This is called the Welch Allen Harvey DLX. Then we go to the Lichtman brand. This is their Lichtman Classic 3. This is their raspberry color with rainbow chest piece. And of course, they also have Lichtman Cardiology 4. And Lichtman also has a stethoscope that is called the Lichtman Lightweight 2ST. And this is the lightest stethoscopes that I've tried. And considering it is made of some sort of plastic, it's got really good acoustics and has a really good price range as well. Be mindful, the open bell does not turn into a pediatric bell, so you can't use it in pediatrics. Then you've got ADC Abscope 608, another stethoscope which has a really good price range. Tubing was a limited edition, so it also comes in different colors as well. A little tip for when you first buy your stethoscope is to differentiate it. Buy something that makes it different and stand out. You can get these charm rings or you can engrave your name on the chest piece or you can get you know a name tag so that your stethoscope stands out and someone doesn't pick it up and walk out with it. If there is a brand that I haven't mentioned in this video, comment below so that I can make sure that I try that one and review that as well. If you've watched this video and it helped you decide on what stethoscope to buy, please let me know in the comments and comment on why you bought the stethoscope so they can help other nursing students who are watching this video decide on what stethoscope they should buy. Thank you so much for watching guys and congratulations if you've just gotten accepted into nursing school. I will see you on the next video and remember as always, listen with your heart.